Hello guys, Abdurrahman Awakar here and welcome to a quick tip tutorial on how to add a 3D object on your head by tracking a portage into Bojo and export the tracking data into After Effects. Before you input your footage into Bojo, you have to save the footage into QuickTime format .mov or VNG sequence. Now let's check our footage frame rate. Okay. Now as you see our frame rate is 29.213. You have to take note of that because we are going to use our frame rate later. Okay, now drag the footage to create add it to Render as as what it on good time format. Now we are in Bojo. Let's place our sequence. Then click on the input sequence. Make it to your folder and browse your file. See which one is that. Now change the frame rate to our native frame rate. Click apply and close. We imported our footage into Bojo. Now we are going to create a map. Click on the add fully max then max our head. Make sure that you max it the head entirely. Nice. Okay. In the timeline, expand the max, and here are the keyframe. We are going to animate the keyframe frame by frame. Animate the frame by frame. Yes. Make sure that you follow the head movement. Now we finish the max mask. Then right click on the max and embark max. In the toolbox, click on the track max, then expand and increase the sensitivity. Okay, then hit start. This may take a while. Now it finished writing. Then we are going to solve the camera. Click on the camera solve and the customize camera. Click on the source camera and hit start. This will also take a while. It look great. Nice striking. So, wow. Everything is working fine. Now we are going to send geometric. Send geometric. Click on the add coordinate hit. Then Send the type to origin and click on the center point. Then click on connect to select and update to frame. This frame that we selected will be our camera front of view. Now let's add an object and see how our coordinate is working. Wow, very nice. We finish tracking, so let's export our tracking data and have to type it. Click on the export and export camera solve. Then change the export type to 
after I fetch my and change the scene a scale scene by hundred. This is very important for after I fetch foot hundred foot hundred. It's very very important. Then go to the file name. File name. Photo. Let's go back to After Effects. Now we are in After Effects. Import our seven data into After Effects. Double click on the. Uh, I see where it is found. Okay, we are just working fine. Then let add our footage. Into this configuration, okay. You see, turn off no layer, all of them are, are our tracking data. So, you have to shine some of them. Now, you see how it is working. So, now let's Okay, let's shine all the new layer except the middle one. So now we can place any 3D object. Let's start with a solid layer. Okay, new solid look at white. And apply a 3D then hit feet to open it with foundation and also for new layer. Then copy the Position of the new layer to the solid, but as you see, all of them it is zero zero in the layer. So make the solid layer zero by zero, also zero by zero. Then scale down the solid layer position. Uh -huh. Now it is working. Let it be here. Position. Fine. Use element 3D to place a real 3D object. Let's create a solid layer. Then apply a element 3D. Click on the same setup. Okay. Use any 3D object you want, but for this tutorial, I want to use the this link. This pilot is so okay. Let me use this Hamlet. Use his Hamlet. So make sure that your object is the at center. Adjust your model. Make sure that it plays at the center of the real. This will help you a lot. Wow, it's very nice. So, then click on. Okay. Increase size to cover your face, your head. So, you have to play with the setting. Now it's recording. Fantastic. You see how it is working? Like that. 
Arnold. So. And if you want to place a 3D object inside your head, you want to use a head mesh. You want to use a head mesh. Now click on the same setup. If you already have the mesh, you can find it online. Head mesh. Now it is okay. Nice mesh. This mesh will help a lot to place on some TV objects on head. So okay, head okay. Then now adjust your mesh okay, to your head. Take your time. Make it make it lift your head. Now make it tire. Okay, go to same setup. Add a 3D object. Yes, this knife as well. Let's scale it down. 40, right? Okay. 20. Nice. Let's push it to the front. Yeah. Now I'm trying the mesh material go to the setting and check the match shadow okay boom wow yes. if you found this tutorial helpful please share subscribe like and thank you for watching